Paisley's bottle, one, one of them here, because um, its sealing was like coming undone. So this is gonna be a video of how I seal Paisley's bottles. I have this before, but I'm just gonna do it again, and also how to make some milk. I have a video on how to make reborn milk and orange juice, but um, I'm also, now I'm gonna teach you a new way. So if you wanna see the way this one's made, I have a video on it, and now I'm gonna teach you a new way. But the first thing I have to do is seal her bottle. The way I seal her bottles is with a toothpick. So, I'm gonna be making new milk, so I don't need this one anymore. It's a little yellow. So, sometimes her sealings like um, come undone. Well, like they don't come undone, but like the toothpick will get really soggy. And you don't want that. I'm gonna dry these all off. And so see her toothpick is really soggy. It's hard to see, but it's getting soggy. So what I do is I just like clean out the whole bottle. I just did her, um, my favorite one, her like, um, her like dark pink one, my favorite one a few days ago because it was like moldy. It was like getting gross. So I'm gonna clean off her bottle, like dry it off everything. I don't really care about drying off this piece except on the outside because it's gonna get wet anyway because I'm gonna put water, well, milk in it. And it's fake milk. This you really do want dry. I tend to like wave it around. Clean up this counter. So I'll get things wet. Okay, oh, I forgot my scissors, they're in my room. I can just pop this back in now. I have to go grab my scissors really quick to see right there. I'm back and I just did it, see? Didn't take me that long. So you do not want the colored toothpicks. I have colored toothpicks and the reason I have to use one with a little frilly thingy on the end is because I only have colored toothpicks. We don't have like white uh, regular ones like just made out of wood. And this one is actually just made out of wood and it just has a frilly thing. And you only need half of it anyway, not even half sometimes. So what you wanna do is cut it about half. You always, it's always better to cut longer than you think because you can't make it longer. You can make it shorter though. So you don't need this piece, you can throw it out. And if it was a regular toothpick, you could just save it and use it for two bottles. But um, yeah, so. Um, the reason you don't wanna use a colored one is because the dye, they just use dye to color it and the dye will come off and like come into the bottle and stuff. And that happened to me before. So you don't want that to happen. So what you do is you take the top of the bottle and you push the nipple in. Like I usually just tend to oops, push it all the way in first. Okay, goodness. I have to pull it back through because it came out. So I usually just like push it all the way in like that. And then I pull it out to where I want it to be. So I'm gonna see about there. So you don't actually ever get to see the top of the bottle, but this is how it's supposed to be. So then you just stick the toothpick into the bottle and you pull it down so when it sits on a table, it won't be too long. So I need to cut a little bit off. Probably gonna lose this piece. Oh, there it is. Okay, so you cut it off and then you just put it back in at a good spot and you don't want it too far up either but it won't poke your doll so that's that's it and then you can test it with water I'm gonna do that after I make the milk so yeah. so, my knee. so now let's make the milk so what you want to do is fill it up with however much water you want I want her to have three ounces so I'm just gonna clean this out a little bit really quick so I'm gonna fill it up a little bit less than three because when I add my like, my other ingredient, it'll make it higher. So I filled it up to like 70 milliliters when I want it to be at three ounces because I don't know, mine just does it like that. So um, then I'm gonna take some sunscreen and you just pour in like a generous amount. There, 
I poured in kind of a lot, but yeah. I always feel safer um, shaking them with the cap on, but shake the bottle. You also might want to test your um, toothpick before you do this step, but mine have always worked, so I didn't really think I needed to test it. Yeah, so you can see nothing is coming out on my hand. So this is a little bit over three, but that's okay. I can always pour it out if I want it to be exactly three, but I'm not gonna be a little freak and like make it exact. <laughs> I'm not saying you're a freak if you do that. I don't know why I said that. Never mind. Ignore that I even said that. So here you go. Oh, I don't know why it's lopsided. It's like lopsided. I've been just trying to fix that if any of you guys saw that. It's lopsided. That's annoying. Well, it's lopsided, but yeah. And then after you have it like Oh, because it's not pressed in it like evenly. I'll probably play around with that after this video. But then you can, I'm not going to do this step because I don't know why. But um, you can take a cotton, a Q-tip, and then put some yellow food coloring on it, a small amount, and just swirl it in there. And then you can get it into like a yellow baby color, baby formula color. I'm not doing that because my, my food coloring is all the way downstairs in the basement, and I'm on the top floor. And I don't feel like going all the way down there, and um, I don't know. It looks more realistic when you add it, but I'm just leaving it pure white right now. But I'll do it eventually. Anyways, that is how I seal Paisley's bottles and another way to make baby formula, fake formula. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please click like and subscribe. And in the comments, let me know um, what way of making milk you like better. With lotion or with um, uh, sunscreen. I think they both work well, so I like them both. See you guys later. Bye!